as photographers and artists and creatives, I think we're always looking to progress and better our craft. And if you're not, then you should really think about doing that. There's a million tips flying around the interwebs, I know. And they're from the mouths of greats. But allow me to throw my hat in the ring. When I think about or when I talk about achieving photographic greatness, I'm talking about the long-term plan, the slow game. Unless you're the 1% of the 1% of the 1% that just happens to be standing in the right place at the right time and is blessed from birth with unheard of talent, then greatness takes practice and a lot of work and a lot of messing up. So here's three things you can keep in the back of your mind along your path to greatness. Number one, patience. Who you want to become doesn't happen overnight. And most likely, just when you think you've got it, you'll see someone else or something else that just blows your mind and you'll feel like you're right back at zero again. And that's okay. That's exactly what's supposed to happen forever. Understand that the people around you in the same game, we're all moving at different speeds. Try not to keep track of where everybody else is because you're, you're moving as you should and they're moving as they should. And just know that every time you pick up a camera, you're getting that much better. Because I can remember shooting sessions where everything was crap and nothing was jiving and it still happens. But those images that get shelved and never ever see the light of day aren't a complete waste because at the very least they taught me to just never do that again. So really try to focus on the bigger picture and give yourself the time to learn. Number two, study the works of other photographers, but make your own shit. Copying other people's work, and I mean copying other people's work, should be done in the privacy of your own space. And quite frankly, being able to copy someone else's work is a very valuable tool. It can help you learn a lot about process, which could really help you out down the road when a client says to you, hey, can you make it look like this? Because that happens a lot more than you think. You should be able to look at somebody else's work and deconstruct it as best as possible. I'm not saying that you're gonna know exactly what camera and what lighting, but you'll be able to look at it and say, I think they used the right with the thing and then they pointed, perfect. Seminars and classes and photo walks are a great way for you to hear direct from some of your favorite photographers in the game and see just how they approach certain situations. But remember this, photo walkers, it's not your shot. Somebody else made that picture and there's 20 of you clamoring for the same thing. So soak it all in, every last drop of it. Then take exactly what you learned and go put it to use in your own shot with your own gear and your own model and your own location and whatever. Use the education and the classes and the seminars as a way to gain access and learn directly from someone's work who you admire and not so much as just a way to build your portfolio. Additionally, when studying the great works of great photographers, and I've said this a million times, don't just take the work. You take bits and pieces of lots of little things and learn how to meld them together and build your own style. Simply looking at someone's picture and recreating it isn't gonna make you as great a photographer as the person who did that. Number three, surround yourself with who you want to be. First off, make friends with the photographers that you appreciate, both locally and afar. We're not all in competition. Reach out, go get coffee, talk shop, ask questions, and sit in on sessions. It is a surefire way to better yourself. And if for some weird reason there's nobody immediately around you in your area, take to the internet. You know you can find interviews and behind the scenes and a whole slew of stuff to dive in and learn from. And then there's no harm in dropping that person a line and starting a conversation with them. The relationships can come from a lot of different places. But also take this one step further. Make friends with and surround yourself with successful people that aren't photographers because after all it's the people that aren't photographers that are going to hire you so depending on your area of expertise you're going to seek out the best of the best in stylists or hair and makeup or art directors or the best wedding dress people possible really anybody that you see as being successful in their field is someone that you might want to build a relationship with. And keeping company with people who are doing well in life helps boost you. It helps raise you. I'm not talking about riding coattails. I'm talking about if you surround yourself with greatness, you'll start to think great things. So yeah, like it, subscribe to it, 
comment on it. I'll see you next time.